Sorry, don't forget the promo code. Today's message and news comes to you right from all of these campuses. And this is what I'm saying. This is a call for unity amongst the Jews of America. Really the Jews of the world, because it's coming to you next. But Jews of the United States, it's time for solidarity. It's time that you all join together. It's 1938 right now. This is state and city, uh, not funded, but state and city um, giving the rights to people to openly be anti-Semitic. It's crystal night. It's time now. All the chance of 80 years of never again. Today is never again. Today is never. You must stick together. I'm going to tell you this right now. The CIA and the FBI are telling us that there are terrorists amongst us now from the open border. Something really bad's coming down. And from what it looks like, the acceptable terror in the United States is terror against Jews. You must stop your differences. I don't care if you're the liberal Jew, if you're the reformed Jew, if you're the occasional Jew, if you're the Hasidic Jew, if you're Lubavitch, if you're uh, whatever, Kazmazin, whatever it is, it's time to unite as one, as one body of Jews. After this is done, if you want to go off on your differences, but now's not the time. Now's the time for Jews to unite. They're coming after you. And it does, they're not going to ask if you're reformed. They're not going to ask if you're a liberal or a Republican. They just want you. And they want you dead. They're chanting in the streets for you to be dead. You and your children. This is the time to unite, okay? It doesn't get any more serious than this. If in New York City, in every Democratic-run city that has these protests, it is okay. They're not getting locked up. If they are, they're out into the demonstration in an hour. It is okay for them to spit on your children and your mothers and your seniors. It's okay for them to physically assault you. It's okay for them to block places that you want to go to. It's okay in front of the police. It's okay in front of the cameras on TV. It's okay for them to openly assault you. Could you imagine? If that's what they're doing on camera, if that's what they're doing in public, imagine what's going on right now behind the scenes. Could you imagine the meetings they're having? Could you imagine the plots that are hatching to get to you and your children? This is extremely serious. I urge you to get together as one. Fill the streets as one. Fill the universities as one. But come together. This is 1938 right now. They're complacent. They don't care that the Jews are being threatened. They're yelling in their face. October 7th, every day, October 7th means murder, rape of Jews every day. This is, this will, it's illegal. You will be locked up if you say this about gays about transgenders, about Muslims, about blacks, about any other group except Jews. Do you see what's going on now? You must come together. There must be a, a mass, a mass unity, wherever it is, even if it's not in public, and you must get together and uh, fight this we have your back. 
If you Christians don't think that after the Jews, they're not coming for us, you're crazy. If you black people think that these terrorists from Palestine aren't coming after you after the Jews, you're nuts. And listen to me. Anytime you say you're Palestinian and you're protesting Jews, Palestinians from the day they could walk or talk are taught on TV in Palestine, in all these countries, they're taught to hate and kill Jews from the time they could walk and talk. They are the new Nazis. They are the new terrorists. I haven't forgotten 9-11. These are the same people who were celebrating in the streets from the death of our families, okay? It's the, they're in the streets now chanting death to America. They're chanting that they want to do it again. Anyone who supports them is a piece of human garbage. Anyone who's out in the street doing this is a piece of garbage. But Jews, you are in desperate need of getting together. Dude, no one's going to help you. You've seen what happened. Pick up a book, 1938. The French didn't help you. The Polish didn't help you. The Hungarians didn't help you. England wouldn't let you come there. Do you understand? You only have yourselves. Get together. There's strength in numbers, but you must come together. And all you non-Jews who are in these... Uh, institutions of learning, I won't even call them universities anymore. If you're a non-Jew, seek out those Jews. Tell them that you're your friends. Walk with them to class. Walk with them at home. Show, openly come out and show that you have their back. That they shall not be hunted down on the university campuses. But I urge you, and I urge anyone to send this to Jews to a Jewish family member, to a Jewish friend, to anyone you know. Send this to them. The time is now. They're openly in the streets chanting death to you. They're, it's okay to spit on you, to physically assault you. It's okay. In, and if any of you, if any Jews still vote Democrat, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You should not be called a Jew anymore. You cannot support the Democratic Party. Mayor Adams, during this time, when they are have to close the school because they're afraid of, the, of Jewish children being killed in schools, he went to Miami. He doesn't care about you. Chuck Schumer is a Jew. He supports Palestine. Okay, Nat Nadler, whatever his name is, that little fat piece of garbage, he hasn't even spoken out about it. Do you understand? If you still vote Democrat, you are voting for your children to be unsafe walking the streets. I don't know how you could possibly, possibly still do it. You need to unite. You need to all get together. You need to say enough is enough and do whatever it is. You people are very smart people. You must unite and get over this and protect yourselves. First thing, you must protect yourselves. That's it. That's my answer. I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like this. I've read about it in stories of old Europe in the 1930s about the Nazis coming to power, how complacent everyone was, the police are complacent, our, the governor is complacent, the mayor is complacent, the, Dem the Democrats voted. Not they, the Democrats, when it came to aiding Israel, they all voted no. They all voted no. Do you understand? It's 1938. Wake up. Wake up and get together. There's no more there's no more division amongst you. Don't you understand there's no more division against you, um, amongst you. I know some of you have this belief and that belief and this sect and that sect. Right now you don't have the luxury of having differences. Right now your only luxury 
is that you can identify as a one group and have that strength and stick together and protect yourself and your families. There should be only one cry across the whole world and it should be release the hostages. That's it. Anything else, you're scum of the earth.